So in case the TARDIS necklace and the Galaxy print shirt didn't give it away, I love space, which, which is why I attempted space buns on, on my head. It, it was an attempt, okay? I tried. I tried. Do I get points? And in case you couldn't tell by all of this and like the whole channel and like everything I stand for, I love books. So put these two together and Gabby is a happy human being or alien. We shall never know. So when I saw this floating around, I was so happy. Uh, this tag was created by Sasha from a Book Utopia, if I'm not mistaken, to celebrate the release of Starflight by Melissa Landers, I think. I'm sorry, I don't even care about the book that much. Not gonna lie, I I'm sorry, not all of us care about the same things, but you know, I love space and I love books, so I did care about this book tag, so you know, here here we go. Question number one is space, and that is a book that is out of this world, aka a book that takes place in a world different from our own. I could go with Harry Potter and I could go with the Mortal Instruments, but I won't. I'm going with the Lunar Chronicles. Th this is like sort of our world, but not really, but like, you know, it's, it's a world like our own, but it's like in the future and it has robots and it's awesome, man. It's awesome. Question number two is Black Hole and it is a book that completely sucked you in. I know, I know, who would have guessed? Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. It's, it's there, it's there. Please, please don't make me get it out. Cause my, my painting, well, I, I, man, I was sucked in, like, literally, this book sucked me in, it was so good, I just, oh my god, I, I talked about the whole experience in my vloggy wrap-up, I can link that down below, get that promo, am I right? Question number three is light speed, and that is book that you're anticipating so much that you could travel at light speed into the future, just to get it. Barry Allen style. Can I also travel to get Barry Allen? No? Okay, I would love to get my hands on whatever the hell John Green is writing. I just, I need that. John Green is my favorite uh, writer, in case you didn't know. Hello? Um, yeah, I, I love John Green. I love that. I haven't finished the Mortal Instruments and Infernal Devices books yet, nor have I read the stories from the Shadowhunter Academy, or like the Codex or the Magnus Chronicles thing, but I would also love to get my hands on Lady Midnight. I do have a pre-order of that though, and I am meeting Cassie on the book tour for that, so that's double excitement, you feel me? Question number four is Nebula, and that is a book with a beautiful cover. Don't worry, I got you covered. Get it? Get it? Cover? I got you covered? I'm gonna show myself out. But here's a montage of beautiful covers. You're welcome. You're dripping like a saturated sunrise. You're spilling like an overflowing sink. You ripped at every edge, but you're a masterpiece. And now you're tearing through the pages and the ink. Mm. Everything is blue. is multiverse and that is a companion set or series that I love. I would have gone with the infernal devices. You would have been mad at me for it and so I'm going with Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. I love this series. I think I might even love it more than Vampire Academy which is hard because I love Vampire Academy but this is so good. Question number six is gravity and that's your favorite pairing that just seems to be pulled together by gravity. And I, I don't know, I don't know. I would feel like Will and Tessa from the Infernal Devices fit this. I'm sorry. Also Noah Shaw and Mara Dyer from the evolution of Mara Dyer and the Unbecoming and you know, the Mara Dyer series. But also Sydney and Adrian from Bloodlines. I love Sidrian, I just, I love them. Question number seven is The Big Bang and that's a book that got you into reading. Just, can you, can you see them there? It's just, it's Twilight. Twilight, I mean, I, I used to read before as a kid and all of that, but Twilight is the thing that really got me into reading as a kid. I, I didn't love Harry Potter as much as a kid, 
My parents used to tell me that Harry Potter sucked, it was violent, it was terrifying, it was not for little girls. That was my dad. And that that is why I don't talk to my dad. I'm just kidding. That's more complicated, but you know, humor. That's that's one of the reasons. And now I love Harry Potter. But back in the day, 10 year old Gabby was all about Twilight. Honestly, I'm not even joking. And that's what got me into reading. And it was a good time. Next question is Asteroid, and that's a short story or a novella that you love. I don't like novellas, I don't like short stories. I read the thing for the uh, Lunar Chronicle. Something with the Little Mermaid, wasn't a fan. Haven't read <laughs> TMI once yet. I don't like novellas, I don't like short stories. Just I, I feel like it's not enough to get me satisfied. Reading wise, I don't like short stories or novellas. Next, we have Galaxy, and that is a book with multiple POVs. I'm going with, I think it was Silver Shadows that had the multiple POVs uh, from the Bloodline series. That was awesome. That made sense. Like, it made sense why they would have multiple POVs. I was all about that. I was digging it. And next is Spaceship, and that is a book whose title would be a great name for a spaceship. City of freaking Lost Souls. Without a freaking, that's that's not in the actual title. City of Lost Souls. I would I would be the captain of that ship. I would be all about that ship. I yeah, that that's it. And honestly, I mean I don't know who else loves space as much as I do, who else is as big of a nerd. But yeah, if you love space and you're watching this, then you should definitely do it and link the video down below because I'm really curious to see your answers. I would love to hear your thoughts on these questions and I will catch you guys later. Bye!